Hi, good morning. Patricio Jiwan Nuno here with Research Method. Today our topic is how to write your proposal and how to write conclusion and discussion on uh, your report. Let, later I'm going to talk about your report, but now I'm going to talk about uh, how to write your proposal. Your proposal is actually a plan and it starts from chapter one and it goes on to chapter two and then it ends with chapter three. See, it's only three chapters. Chapter one is introduction in which you also write your research objectives. And then chapter two is a review of related literature in which you discuss the theories and the previous studies. And chapter three is your research method. In your research method, you tell about your plan of collecting the data and analyzing the data. Yeah. So that means that when you write chapter three, you'll have to use future tense because it's something that you are going to do in the future, right? So you write sentences like, the researcher will collect the data from uh, such and such respondents. The subjects will be selected through random sampling. The data analysis will use um, Pearson's product moment, for example, or coding. Yeah, so basically, you'll have to write your chapter three in future tense, right? Later, when you have done your research, when you have completed the data analysis, then you write your report. In your report, you still write chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, but now you add chapter four. In chapter four, you present your findings and you discuss the findings. And in chapter five, you conclude everything. That means when you write uh, chapter three in your report, you have to use past simple, right? Because uh, you are telling what you did, what you completed in the past as part of your research. See? So uh, please tell them apart, don't confuse them. In chapter three of your proposal, you write with future tense, but in chapter three of your report, you should change to past simple. Okay? Okay, one more about uh, another thing about uh, conclusion. Yeah. When you write your conclusion, actually you write all of your thesis in a brief points. So you will state uh, your research objectives or your research problems, and then you discuss a bit about the theoretical framework that you use, if necessary, some important previous studies. And then you discuss briefly the method that you use, and then you present the findings plus some discussion. But remember that you have to write them briefly because it's a conclusion, right? It's actually a summary of uh, what you have written in chapter one until chapter four. Now, one more thing which is important when writing conclusion is that you also have to state the implication of your research. The implication means what will your research offer to the scientific community, uh, to teachers, to students, to lay people yeah, who probably will benefit from your research. So you also discuss the implications, what your research is useful for what other people will have to do with regard to the findings that you have discovered in your research. Yeah. So again, conclusion writes the um, main points of your research from chapter one up to chapter four briefly, and then you add some implications to your research. Okay. 
uh, yes of course we have uh, suggestions as well in discussion um, in the suggestions of course you suggest that some people uh, take certain actions in accordance to your findings yeah okay so that's it I guess I have made it clear to you how to write your research proposal how to write your research report and how to write conclusion goodbye for now good luck for your studies and good luck for your research bye